Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming at you with another IL-2 Sturmovic Bodenplatte uh, campaign career. Um, we're flying the Spitfire Mark 14, and uh, we got a progress report here. Let's go ahead and proceed with that. It's the 14th of December, just two days before the Battle of the Bulge. And we got Mr. Everything right here. Unit headquarters. We got a bunch of bunch of Joes. And we got 12 Spitfires. And the planning room says that I'm flying in the afternoon, not in the morning. So let's just go ahead and get the morning mission over with. Okay, the morning mission, they shot down three heavies. Okay, so now it's our turn to do some ground troops cover. Okay, so it looks like we are at Deist, and we're going to fly over to Tongeren. All right, we're on the airfield. We are not the number one taking off. Declared for takeoff. Eagle taking off. Out. What is going on? That was a horrible takeoff. Everything was pulling me to the left. I mean, seriously. All right, guys, so we're going to link up with these guys, and then we're going to uh, rejoin formation and fly over to Tongren. Uh, when we get closer to Tongren, I will uh, jump back in. All right, see you when we get closer. All right, uh, Tongren is super close, so I think we are uh, very close to the objective. I think it's this town right here. We'll jump into the cockpit. That way, if there's any kind of messages, I'll be able to hear them. Uh, but we took off, we turned, flew here, we turned, and there we are. Look at that. I knew we were close. I keep checking the map because that simulates the ground control telling me what other aircraft are in the area. Uh, got some targets right there. Those are friendly, though. In contact from the southeast. That's this way. Yeah, but we're just flying around, uh, orbiting the town and all that. Where's the town? There it is. All right, so we're going to orbit around this town, and if there's any contact or anything then I will be back to you. All right, uh, catch you then. All right, they just said the mission was complete and for us to head on home. But that's usually when the enemy attacks, what I've noticed. So let me check. 
No enemies coming. And it looks like our guys are starting to head cover complete, primary objective complete. Uh, we're going to be heading home, I suppose. So we're he heading towards Sint Truiden. Uneventful mission. I must be diving. Okay, I just wanted to pause this <clears throat> and show you something. I'm going to jump to the map. We are already right about here. We're about to hit St. Truiden and turn north to go home. And look what shows up. Now, I could turn around and get involved in that, or I could just fly home with the rest of my guys. All right, so our airfield is like right there. If I don't crash, I'm just going to skip this mission and we're going to move on to another mission. Yep, after like 22, 23 minutes in the air, we had nothing. Uh, we had almost made it all the way back to base when uh, the air, uh, the objective finally got attacked. So some other squadron was tasked with shooting those guys down, if they even did. Uh, but we flew out there, orbited around, and then flew home. So uneventful. situation on the Western Front in mid-December 1944 finds the Germans in full retreat and the Allies advancing more quickly towards the German border than expected. However, with his troops fatigued by weeks of continuous combat and supplies running low, the Allies paused their offensive operations to allow time for rest and recovery. On December 16th, the Germans launched their surprise offensive with their last significant armored reserves in the West. Called Operation Watch on the Rhine by the Germans, this attack will become known as the Battle of the Bulge by the Allies. The ambitious goal of the plan is to break through the thinly held Ardennes with the three armies of Army Group B, advance westward to the Meuse River, and then swing to the northwest to capture Antwerp and Brussels. The hope of the Germans with such a major gamble is to end the war in the west in their favor. With Allied aircraft grounded by poor weather, the Germans initially take the Allies by surprise and overrun large numbers of troops, particularly in the center sector. U.S. paratroopers are even surrounded in the small Belgian town of Bastogne and barely hang on. However, due to a severe lack of fuel and ammunition and determined Allied resistance, the German attack stalls just short of the Meuse by December 24th. At the same time, improving weather conditions allowed Allied aircraft to resume attacking German troop columns armor and supply points. All these factors, combined with the arrival of fresh Allied ground troops, put an end to the German offensive and the Battle of the Bulge becomes an Allied victory, putting further pressure on the German military to defend the West German frontier with the loss of more men and badly needed material and supplies. Battle of the Bulge. The 18th. Okay, it's the 18th. We got six more Spitfires. Okay. A few more pilots. All right. They're excited. Uh, I've got two missions today. Morning and in the afternoon. All right. While we're taking off, I want to uh, bring up uh, bring up something I've been thinking about. Okay, you know that there were, the 101st was surrounded at Bastogne. It's a big famous battle and lots of troops and stuff and it uh, historically significant and all that okay and I was just wondering you know with the way education is being performed nowadays and the way not everything is being taught man okay just gonna jump over me huh
that's me. Um, so not everything's being taught uh, like it used to. I wonder if I wonder if uh, they will disappear into uh, obscurity. But then I thought, well, there's other battles like, let's say, the Battle of Agincourt. You know, that took that took place like a thousand years ago, and that's still being, you know, remembered. And then there's battles like Gagamela, which was Alexander the Great and the Persians, and that's still being studied today. So uh, that was like, I don't even know how many years ago, more than 2,000 years ago? I don't know. It was, well, maybe 1,500 years ago. But still, it, it was... Uh, It's still being studied. So I believe that the guys in Bastogne will still be remembered a couple thousand years from now. I really do. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and fast forward till we get to the objective. And I will see you when we get there. Okay, we're over the reservoir. So let's see if that is close to the objective. It is. We're, we're right here. Let's see if we get jumped. Or if I have to fast forward this mission again. Alright, we're almost back to our airfield. We're just basically trying to drop. Because that's us right there. Got low cloud layer. Again, that's because of the battle bulge, you know, the winter time. Plus, we had like 20 mile an hour wind at ground level. So I want to make sure which way the wind is blowing before I come in for a landing. Up the tower, there it is. Holy crap, that's a strong wind. It was pegged. I want to come in at a little bit sharper angle than that, but we're going to come in this way. I think, that, I think that's me. Well, too bad. I'm coming in. Because you've got this insubordinate Acorn 6 coming in. Acorn 6, roger. Again, nothing happened in that mission. We're going to go ahead and fly the next mission. All right, in this mission, we're over Gallen and we're going there. Oh, there's even another group. Now watch me.
What happened to that guy? One oh nines. Oh, damn. Okay, my plane has got issues. I'm struggling to control it. My tail and everything looks okay. All right, I'm back to control again. I think. Yeah, my plane is like not being controlled very well. I wonder what's going on. Did I take a hit? Let me, let me take a look. Oh, look at my tail! I must have taken a hit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be dogfighting. I can barely keep this thing in the air. Going after that guy with them. I should probably land. Because my tail's probably going to fall off any second now. Oh, oh, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to stay under control. Okay, he looks like he's got a tail missing. Okay, I'm heading home. I don't even care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow this thing down. 
I mean, look for a local airfield. Osh. Okay. To the west. I don't know what direction I'm facing. I think we're good. I think Osh is like in that patch of trees right over there. I'm declaring an emergency. I think I should jump. What do you guys think? Look at how strong the wind is. <laughs> Alright guys, I flew three missions Two of them were uneventful. The third one, I got jumped. My tail got damaged before I got a chance to even start dogfighting. Not a great day for me. Not a great day for the video. But, um, yeah, it looks like uh, Frank got wounded. A bunch of people crashed, but survived. Um, maybe bailed, like me. That's cool. They got a picture of the uh, Panther that was converted to the M10 lookalike. It's a lot of cool news in this game if you were to actually sit down and read it all. Alright, well that's where we're going to call it. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Hopefully there will be some action.